New at 5, a stolen school bus is now back where it belongs. The bus was taken from Casha Hall. Early Sunday morning, the driver crashed it into a parking area at St. John Medical Center. Police found the bus this morning in North Tulsa near 32nd and Peoria. Fox 23's Ashley Lincoln reporting live for us with how the thief got the bus, Ashley. Well, Clay, he was able to drive the bus right off the campus. Now, I found out the bus wasn't in a gated area, which made it easy for this suspect. Kasha Hall headmaster Roger Carter tells me of all things, why would someone steal a school bus? The letters are about 10 inches tall on the side of the bus that say Kasha Hall, so it, he wouldn't be very you know, inconspicuous. He says they were notified early Sunday morning that one of their school buses was stolen after officials at St. John's called to get them the information. They were able to uh, drive it off. Tulsa police told me after the thief took the bus from the school, he then tried driving the bus into a parking deck at St. John's Hospital. And it's about a nine foot bus and it's a seven foot entrance, so it didn't work very well. Carter says after the driver left the hospital, he drove around for a little bit before dumping the bus here at this recycling facility in North Tulsa. We really couldn't see who it was. He says he'll never know why someone would steal a school bus, but he hopes the clues the suspect left in the bus will lead to some tips to police. But one interesting thing, we found some snacks that he uh, uh, that he took uh, while he was in the bus, uh, and I don't know if he stopped somewhere to pick those up. So if anyone happened to see a uh, cash a haul bus at a uh, convenience store at two or three in the morning, uh, let us know. And Carter says the bus received minor damage to the roof. Now they use that bus primarily for recreational activities. Now the incident that happened at St. John's Hospital was captured on surveillance video. Now a representative with St. John's told me that their legal department is reviewing that video before they decide to release it to the public. Reporting live, covering news that matters, I'm Ashley Lincoln, Fox 23 News.